Uh, sad day at the farm. The 33 year old mare, or probably turned 34 by now, but yesterday she got acting funny and couldn't breathe and things, so she just, uh, she finally passed away or died. So we're burying her today. This stuff ain't always easy. Even though it ain't a human being, it is a it is an animal. We know that. We ain't trying to be silly. But for 32 years, I got her when she was two year old. I've had her now for 32 years and every morning. You could go to the bedroom when doesn't look out or out the front door or whatever. And look and see the old mare for 32 years, so. It ain't easy always letting go of things that you've had a hold of for so long. So even though it's an animal, it still hurts to say goodbye, don't it? So that's what me and Chloe and Landon's are coming. The other boys didn't want to come over, so. It ain't always easy, life ain't. Sort of ironic, it's Thanksgiving Day, and we know the Bible says in, in all things to give thanks. And you know you can give thanks a lot of times in good times, but when something like this happens, it breaks your heart. It's hard to, it's hard to give thanks sometimes, ain't it? It's been a trying year for a lot of people. This lets us know life's fragile. It's sometimes it's long, sometimes it's short, but either way, it all has an appointment with death. And it seems like that's been a popular tune around our parts with friends and loved ones is old death come knocking a lot this year, so Bible says it's appointed man wants to die and after that the judgment and we know this is a horse and I ain't trying to confuse the two. Don't take me wrong. But anyway, we're fixing the barrier. Rode her many trips around the show ring, through the hills and hollers of Tennessee and around places here where we live. And just rode around the last five years. She's run around acting like a cow. She's been in there with them cows out there and she just get in there and she's just like one of them. Good babysitter. She was. You could bring a new cow in and they'd take up with a, that old horse out there and and she'd just, uh, she'd babysit them. They'd run around with her and stay, feel like they had somebody to, I guess, to run around with. But landing's coming. We're gonna lower her down in the ground. We're gonna, I'm gonna bury her side with her saddle and her bridle. And, and folks don't want you to take this wrong. I'm not trying to be silly. And I don't know how much of it will. Donna might even put on a video of it, even if she does. But if it ain't, it's just for the family. <sighs> but it's a hard day here on the Baldwin farm. Losing a good friend today. She always done everything that I asked her to and more if she could. She wasn't the greatest horse in the show ring or the greatest horse in the trail ride, but she was always there, ready to do it go. And I really enjoyed it. Chloe's had a good time with her. Didn't get to ride her much because she got so old time Chloe come along. She rode her son there a few years back and then got to enjoy her a while. And, but Landon, he uh, he spent a lot of time with her. And But we're fixing the, we're fixing the barrier and It'll be a, a, a saying goodbye to a good friend today. He always is a beginning and there has to be an end, don't he?
folks that's where we're at today thanksgiving day 2021 but it is a good day we're gonna step up and go on and like i say this is just a horse but it is a part of life and it hurts to say goodbye so that's what we're doing today folks my birthday and me and dad went riding on her and her colt which was Philly and we went and rode all over the what we own through here and we went and rode for a 
quite a while for my birthday and she was my first horse and I'm really gonna miss her so um I guess we're giving our uh, our favorite memory of the mare. Uh, I was around for a pretty good while uh, while she's been around. She's got about nine year on me, I think. That said, I think she would have turned 34 this year. I'm 25, so she's been around a pretty good while even before I come along. But uh, uh, I, that's the horse I grew up riding on, uh, learned to ride on. Spent a lot of time on uh, on the back of the mare. Uh, I know growing up, uh, Dad had a few other horses. He was big into showing horses, as you guys might know, you guys might not know, but uh, he had a few other horses, but I'd always ride mares because she was broke and she was so uh, gentle and easy to ride. And, uh, a lot of evenings of my childhood was spent at our old house in a field beside the house riding laps around that ring, uh, uh, just living life and enjoying horses and uh, me and dad and just enjoying time together, riding around that ring. Uh, and, uh, there ain't many times I don't drive by that field and I don't kind of get a picture in my mind of us riding that ring, uh, me on the mare's back and him on his horse and just having a good time. And, uh, if I had to pick one, uh, my favorite memory, I'd have to say, uh, I'll give a little bit of comedic relief to this. That's usually what I do, it seems like, but uh, it's probably my favorite memory. Uh, I can't remember how old I was. I was probably 11 or 12, 13, somewhere in there. And they had a, uh, a, show, a horse show in Jamestown, and I went out there to ride in it. And uh, we took the mire out there. And uh, in my youth, uh, it's a little bit hard for me to get on the back of a horse and uh, I was pretty embarrassed about how hard it was for me to get on the horse so uh, I hopped on the trailer and got on the mare's back and uh, I rode my first class it was sometime that morning and after my class was over I wouldn't get off because uh, I was so embarrassed of how hard it was for me to get back on the horse I never would get off of her so I sat on her back for about all day that day and uh, bless her heart, I, I wasn't a small kid either, so I know she she earned her feed and her hay and water that day. Uh, I'd say she slept pretty good that night, but uh, I can still remember uh, uh, Nanny and Paul being out there watching me ride, and that just uh, that just makes it mean that much more too that they was there. And, uh, just the whole thing, it's uh, it's hard to believe a horse can uh, can mean so much to you, but. She meant a lot to the whole family. Like I said, she's been around for over 30 years, so it, it, it's kind of hard for not for her not to mean a lot to us. But that's probably my favorite memory. Uh, she almost took off with me over a uh, over a bluff one one day, one day on a trail ride, and that's another story for another time, I guess, maybe on a podcast or something. But uh, yeah, the mare meant a lot to all of us. Meant a lot to me. Like I said, uh, I don't remember a time that she wasn't around. That's because she's nine years older than I am. Uh, she lived a good life. Uh, she walked these hills right here. She walked these hills right here. Probably the last four or five years. So she had a she had a good retirement, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be different coming over and not seeing the mare out in the field running around with the cows. Uh, it's going to be different, but like this, all good things must come to an end, and. Uh, her day finally comes, so uh, that's that, I guess. But uh, she will be missed, and uh, yeah, I'm just glad to got to spend my, my life with her. So I guess that's my my memory and a, a bunch more. So.